Sweet. Does it say recording on your end? Yep. Okay. Brian Powell. And Megan Hicks. Have I run far here? Star CPQ. Hey, everybody. Gary Roberts here. Hi, this is uh, Grant Guy. This is Heather and Nish Anderson here. Hey, Jeff Browning here. Joyce Crusadis. I'm Joe. Obviously, you're her husband. Hey, y'all. I'm Jennifer Far Davis. Hey, I'm Lisa Hansen. John Mettinger. My name's Louis Escobar. Josh Katzman. Caitlin Gervin. Chrissy Mail. I am Maria Mendoza. Michael Wardian. This is Sean Krauss. My name's Yassine DeBoone. I am a human being in quarantine in Portland, Oregon. Boulder, Colorado. Chilliwack, British Columbia. Christchurch, New Zealand. Hello from Montana. Asheville, North Carolina. Austin, Texas. Bellingham, Washington. Bend, Oregon. From Arlington, Virginia. We're hanging here at home in Sedona, Arizona. I'm a hiker and trail runner. I'm the race director for Western States. Uh, former race director. And I'm a trail runner. Pastor, a coach, uh, I'm a runner. I am a 46-year-old professional ultra runner. And I'm a race director and a father and a teacher. I'm a human. Okay. A human that likes to run. <laughs> I just think that there's a lot of humanity being demonstrated in what's going on around the world. And this has really forced us to slow down and to really be present. All the details that are around us, and they could be in your backyard. Just this morning, I woke up and opened the shades, and a little fox ran right by the window. <laughs> don't beat yourself up. Don't um, don't try to do too much. You have good days and bad days. Uh, it's just a part of the process right now. A lot of backpackers say hike your own hike and it's the idea that people have different paces and different gear and different styles and very different experiences. Extending people grace and hiking your own hike and respecting others feels like the right thing to do right now. But you know, this has made me pine for my friends and my family and my ultra crowd so much that I find myself picking up the phone many times a day and John knows I don't even like to talk on the phone. Uh, to revisit some of the the local spots where I where I've sort of grown up as a runner has been very powerful for me. So like there's a lot of different ways to define like how you have an adventure trying to stay super local and just walk through my front door you know I'm, I'm experiencing like my neighborhood in, in a different way. I am a planner I'm a spreadsheet freak and if anything I feel like it's teaching me how to be in the right here right now. You know, I can only control certain things and I am only allowed to live in certain spaces right now. So I'm gonna create as much positive space in those small spaces. The way to, to have a chance to step back and, and say what, you know, was I doing what I really wanted to be doing? Or... It, it sort of reminds me a lot of our 100 mile races and our 100 mile runs where we bond with these people we never met before because we're out there suffering through the same thing. This might be a hundred mile or we might only be at mile 25 or 30. There are a lot of unknowns when you go out on a run, a long run, or you enter a big race. You know, we're good at being able to be in those kind of uncomfortable situations, kind of problem solve and take it as it goes. This reconnection that I'm seeing for a lot of my athletes with why we run on a daily basis as opposed to what that long-term goal is, is so beautiful to watch come out of it. The best thing about ultra running is it never was about the finish line. It's all about getting there, right? And that's when you have to fall in love with training, realize the community that you do have and, and feel grateful for all these opportunities to just enjoy the process. I feel like we've prepared ourselves to deal with these hardships as ultra runners, right? We know how to endure, we know how to be tough and uncomfortable and persistent and patient. I mean, we're further apart and we're closer together at the same time. I'm really looking forward to the day where we get to gather again at events and whether we're volunteering, directing or running, it's just gonna be so, so much more special for us. It's a big group effort and, and it seems like we're pulling it off. Be grateful. Uh, to your body for all that it has done and for everything that it will do. Be, be kind to yourself, be kind to each other. I don't think I've taken a nap in like 10 years. Be hopeful, be a light in your community. Have patience with each other. It's just trail running, you know? We're gonna get through all of this. We're trail runners, this is what we do. That was awesome, I love you guys. You guys wanna, <laughs> you guys wanna keep moving forward? <laughs>